Thank you, Lord. up your name, O oh God. You are what you are what the Son of God. We bless your name, O oh God. God bless you, buddy. God bless you. Take a few minutes and uh, begin to pray. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let me know where you are watching from. Get your friends on. Let them come on uh, right away so that we are able to... to to finish up I'm intending to not to take more than uh, 15 minutes of word and prayer in Jesus name God will not forsake you we give you praise oh God we give you honor we magnify your name we adore you. we lift your name on high press that share button and invite your friends text your friends tell them it is time to worship to pray to glorify god we bless your name O lord jesus we magnify your name dear lord we adore your name el shaddai you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be glorified Come on, begin to talk to God. As you come on, begin to talk to God, begin to pray. This is your moment of prayer. Talk to God. Bible say, if one, uh, if two or three people come together in agreement, whatsoever they pray, God shall hear it. This is the day like no other. If you are sick in your body, you will be healed. After this broadcast, you will discover that the sickness is gone. If you are stressed, the stress will go. If you are afraid, fear will leave. Whatever has been bothering you through the day, it will depart in Jesus' name. Begin to praise God. Begin to worship God. Begin to magnify the name of God. God bless you. Vat Vatrano Raymond, how are you? Long time, my friend. Let me know. Are you okay? Hallelujah. Are you okay, my friend? Amen. God will never forsake you. Reverend Stanley Ngure, God bless you, man of God. I honor you. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise the Lord. Come on. Continue sharing this on your wall with your friends in Jesus' name. Continue sharing this on your wall with your friends. Man of God, Reverend Stanley, I watched you the other time. Uh, in the online prayer, uh, your prayer, and it was so powerful. The message was off the chains. God bless you, and God continue to bless the ministry in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. God bless you as you're joining. Continue to share this with your friends. Continue to share this with your friends. Continue to share this with your friends in Jesus' name. Text your friends. Press the share button. Welcome your friends everywhere. Tell them that uh, tonight is a night like no other and that God has got something new for them. God has got a word that will take you through the week and strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. 
We worship you, O God. We glorify your name. We adore your name. We lift your name on high. We give you glory. We give you honor. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the honor. As you are joining, begin to pray. Prepare your spirit. Begin to talk to God. Begin to bless God. Begin to worship God. Begin to magnify God. Begin to adore the name of God. Begin to honor the name of God. Our God is a big God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is a powerful God. And we invite him today. Welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take over, sweep over this place. Sweep over this place. Release a revelation that will cause a revolution in not only your people but all over the world in jesus name release a revelation O god that will cause a revolution in the lives of your people in the name that is above all other names we declare that the devil is defeated we declare that the enemy is defeated we declare that we are victors we declare that the least among us shall die at a hundredth we declare that no weapon formed against the children of God shall prevail. We render powerless the works of the devil. We render powerless the plans of the enemy. Come on, begin to pray. God bless you, Lillian. God bless you, my Muna. God bless you. Hallelujah. If I could know where you're watching from, it's very important. As you write it down there, that particular place where you're coming from is represented in Jesus' name. As you write to me where you are watching from, uh, where that particular estate is represented, is under the, the, the covering of the blood of Jesus. As you are following, you are also dedicating your place, your city, your estate before God. So write to me where you are following, where you are watching from in Jesus' name. Get your friends around, uh, get your family members, get your mom, get your dad. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. We are going to cast out devils. We are going to uh, decree life. I don't intend to take long today. In about 15 minutes, I'll be done. But I guarantee you that tonight, oh my God, tonight is loaded. It's loaded with the presence of the Lord. It's loaded with the Yesterday, we had a very, we had a powerful session. If you attended, if you are watched yesterday, let me know. Were you blessed? Let me know. Yesterday, we, we God spoke to us. Uh, that we, we God spoke to us that he's not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. If you are blessed yesterday, you can write down and tell me that you are blessed in Jesus' name. But tonight, I promise you that there is a word that will take you through the week. Remember, we are entering into a new week. We are entering into a new week. And this is a week like no other. Watching from Kasarani, Maimuna, God bless you. Hallelujah. Let me know where you are watching from. Buddy, where are you watching from? In Jesus' mighty name. Let me know where all of you are watching from in the name of Jesus Christ of nazareth i want to commit the place where you are watching from also in the presence of god watching from Mombasa, lillian god bless you another thing i would like to tell you is that uh, you are free to communicate back to me don't be silent talk write something share something press the share button and invite your friends uh if you are getting blessed hallelujah since we are not in a church we are online you saying a man writing a man is a way of claiming that word if you just keep quiet, uh, maybe somebody else who will watch later will claim it. But I pray that you be the one that will receive the word. Anytime a word is going forth, don't just keep quiet. Write and say, Amen. It is my word. I receive it. I connect to it. It is mine in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. We're going to pray for one minute. And then after one minute exactly, we are going to go straight to the word of God. And also in this one minute, press the share button. Let me see the sharing going on. I haven't seen anybody share yet. I haven't seen anybody share yet. Now begin to share uh, on your wall with your friends. Invite them from everywhere. Tell them uh, there is a word of God going on. And they're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. So in this one minute, begin to pray. Repent of your sins. 
surrender uh, your sins. God bless you, Hamadi Badi, watching from Outer Ring. God bless you so much in Jesus' mighty name. Outer Ring is represented. Kasarani is represented. Mombasa is represented. Let me know where else is represented in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah, glory. We just plead the blood. Begin to pray. Welcome the Holy Spirit. If you don't know what to pray, just say, My Heavenly Father, I need you. My Heavenly Father, I need you. My Heavenly Father, I welcome you in my life. I welcome you in my family. I welcome you in my business. I welcome you in my home, my Heavenly Father. I repent of every sin that I have committed. My Heavenly Father, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. My Heavenly Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. My Heavenly Father, speak to me today. I am ready. I am patient. I am staying on. I am not going anywhere. I have come to, to worship you. I have come to glorify your name. My Heavenly Father, anoint me fresh oil. My Heavenly Father, drive away sicknesses, diseases, poverty, witchcraft, lack, stagnation, embarrassment, far away from my life in the mighty mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god and somebody shouted a very big man in jesus name i want us to go to the word of god from the book of exodus exodus chapter number three exodus chapter number three and uh, also we're gonna go again to the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Somebody can write it down there so that uh, anybody who's following also can get it. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 from verse number 1. Write it down there uh, so that those who are following also can get it. Exodus chapter 3 from verse number 1. And again, we are going to do Deuteronomy 31 from verses number 6. Hallelujah. So those are the two verses that we're going to start with. I want us to start with Exodus because Exodus is the book of departing. You are departing poverty. You are departing sickness and disease. You are departing stagnation. You are about to shift from that house you are staying in. Oh my God, to a bigger house. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. God has a plan with your life. God has a plan for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Exodus chapter 3 from verses number 1. The Bible says that now... Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked and behold, the bush burned with fire. Hallelujah. And the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush. Oh my God, somebody, God is about to call you out of the midst of the bush. Hallelujah. I wish I had somebody who can say amen because that is a prophetic word for somebody here. I say God is about to call you out of the midst of the bush. It means you have been hiding. Nobody knows about you. Nobody hears you. Nobody talks to you. Nobody calls you. Nobody wants to hear anything from you. But after today, God is about to call you out of the bush. You have been hiding in the midst of the bush, but you are coming out. The call of God is bringing you out of the bush. God is pulling you from the backside of the desert to the front ground in the name of Jesus. You are about to speak and people hear. I'm preaching already. I say you are about to speak and people hear in Jesus' name. God is about to raise you. Oh my God. I wish I had somebody who can, yeah, buddy, you've claimed it. You're saying amen. Receive it. Yeah, you see it, receive it in the name of Jesus. I say if I say, if, if you hear a prophetic word, you claim it. Amen means let it be so. When you say amen, just like Badia said amen. What are you saying? You're saying that is my word and I receive it in Jesus' mighty name. So the Bible says, and when the Lord saw, God bless you. 
when the Lord saw, when the Lord saw Moses, hallelujah, glory, when the Lord saw Moses, amen, the Lord saw Moses, he turned aside to see, hallelujah, he turned aside to see, and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush, hallelujah, out of the midst of the bush and said unto him, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am, O oh my God. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is a holy ground. God bless you, my Muna. Yes, you receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter number 31. Deuteronomy chapter number 31. Hallelujah, glory. Deuteronomy chapter number 31. In the name of Jesus. From verses number 6. The Bible says, I finish. Be strong and of a good cheer. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them, for the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not, fors he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to talk very shortly by the grace of God. I want to talk very shortly approaching the presence of God approaching the presence of God or drawing nearer to the presence of God. You see, most of you who are joining online and those who are also going to join later, what you're doing right now is you're approaching the presence of God. You see, without the word of God, there can never be the presence of God. Number one, God can never be separated from his word. When you cut the body of God, his word will come forth. When you cut the word, his body come forth. God and his word are inseparable. The highest thing that God can ever give you is his word. The word of God is himself. The word of God is the signature of God. You see, when the president, uh, when the president writes a signature on a blank check, his signature on the blank check. That means that whatever you write there is yours. Hallelujah. So the word of God is his signature in Jesus' mighty name. The word of God is himself. So when God gives you his word, he is giving you himself in Jesus' name. So when you join online prayer watch, like what you are doing right now, and as I'm ministering, kindly press the share button because I'm about to pray for children. I'm about to pray for your family members, for your loved ones. Press the share button your friend need to hear the word of god your friend also maybe is disappointed is stressed is worried and the best gift you can ever give somebody on your page on your facebook page is not a rumor or anything but it is the word of god so press the share button and invite your friends even as i continue in jesus name so what am i talking about i'm talking about the promises of god the promises of god are yes and amen the word of god is himself God can never uh, separate himself from his word. Yesterday we talked about God is not a man that he should lie. And we realize that whatever God has said or promised you, he will do it in Jesus' mighty name. Why? Because God will never go against his word in the name of Jesus. So we have been reading about Exodus. In the book of Exodus, we get a story of a powerful man called Moses. This man was born in in a dangerous time. He was born in a time whereby the, whereby uh, you wouldn't want to get a child at that time. It was a time whereby the enemy, hallelujah, the king of the land, the pharaoh of the land, had declared that uh, that 
all male children born be killed. Hallelujah, glory. It was not the right time to be born. And that's the time Moses was born. And when Moses was born, the Bible says mother hid him three months. But after three months, the mother of Moses could no longer hide Moses anymore. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that he put Moses in a, in, in a basket and, 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 and made Moses to flow through the Nile River. And on the other side, as Moses was going, God prepared a, 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 a person who received Moses by the name of Pharaoh's daughter who loved Moses. And so Moses, as a baby, grew in Egypt, went to the best of schools in Egypt, attended the best of class, ate the best of meals, and he became king. But as he kept on growing, he realized that those were not his people and the bible says one day he killed an egyptian and so he began to run so he's now running away hallelujah he is running away from his past he is running away from whatever his mistake he is running away hallelujah glory and he goes to the wilderness of the median and the bible says there are 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness and finally god connected him to to jethro hallelujah who later on began to uh, house him and so he began of Jethro but one day while he's taking care of the cattle the Bible says that he saw the burning bush and that's where our topic is he saw the burning bush hallelujah this was an incredible sight he had never seen this before so he turned aside hallelujah drawn by the fire drawn by the fire of the burning bush he turned to look at it hallelujah and when he looked Looked at it, the Bible says in Exodus, when he find when the bush caught his attention and he looked at it, the Bible says he had a voice that called him out of the midst of the bush. And the Bible says he drew closer. And when he was about to get more closer, he had a voice that said, Moses, Moses, remove your sandals or your shoes, for behold, you're standing in a holy ground. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about approaching the presence of God. If God will ever do anything with you, through you and for you, you have to draw nearer him. You have to get closer to him. You see, Moses was, was homeless. After leaving Egypt, 40 days and 40 nights, he was homeless. He didn't have food to eat. He didn't know how where he's going to get his provision. Like somebody, you're listening to me right now. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know how tomorrow will be. You are scared. You are afraid. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Probably you have exhausted all your money or you don't know what to do. So this is the situation of Moses. He don't know what tomorrow lies and he's not taking care of his, 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 uh, his uh, uncle Jethro's uh, cattles. And then he sees the burning bush. Now the burning bush here represents the presence of God because when Moses saw it, when Moses saw the presence of God, the Bible, he had a voice that called him out of the midst of the bush. And this way I was saying, some, I was telling somebody here that you are coming out of the name. You are coming out of the bush in the name of Jesus. You see, a bush is a bush is the place where you're hiding. Hallelujah. A bush is a, is a dangerous place. Praise the Lord. A bush is a place where you don't know where you, there are no shops in the bush. There are no colleagues in the bush. Some of you is like you're in the bush. Hallelujah. You are, it's like you're in the bush. You have been rejected by your loved ones. You have been forsaken. You have been left for dead. But I came to decree right now in Jesus' name. As you draw closer to the presence of God, you are coming out of the bush in the name of Jesus. I say your finances are coming out of the bush. Your marriage has been closed, hidden somewhere far away, but is about to come out of the bush. I don't know where I'm, spe where I'm speaking to somebody right now. Keep on pressing the share button. Keep on inviting your friends. And Moses decides to get closer to the presence of God. I'm talking about this week. We are approaching the presence of God. We are drawing closer to the presence of God. And I want to inform all your friends and tell them this entire week, 
10 p.m. East African time, we will be drawing closer to God. You see what is happening in the world today. The world doesn't have solution. Hallelujah. The government are crying. We just had the government of Kenya crying, saying that um, if, we, if, if we happen to be overwhelmed by the many cases of people with coronavirus, uh, we will not know what to do because the hospitals cannot offer guidance. Uh. So what is he trying to say? He's trying to say that only God can help us in Jesus' mighty name. I have come to tell you that when men fail, God does not, does not fail. When men forsake you, God will not forsake you. When men reject you, God will not reject you in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. So the Bible says when Moses draws closer to the presence of God, he hears a voice that says, Moses, remove your sandals, remove your shoes. Hallelujah. Now, why was God telling Moses to remove his shoes, right? Why was God telling Moses uh, to remove his sandals? Uh, because underneath Moses' shoes, uh, it was written made in Egypt. Hallelujah. Any shoe you buy anywhere, it is always written underneath it. Uh, either made in Italy, either made in Turkey, or either made in Kenya, either made in Egypt, either made in wherever. So Moses' shoes uh, underneath it uh, was written made in Egypt. Hallelujah. Remember in Egypt he was a prince. So God was trying to tell him, get off everything that is made of man. I don't want you to bring me man-made things before me because I want to, I want my signature. Hallelujah. To be on you. Hallelujah. Glory. I don't want any man claiming that they are the ones who blessed you. I don't want any man claiming that the, 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 the building you have, they gave you. I want everything that you have be directed to me. I want to get out of everything to you right now. I want to pause and answer somebody here. God, my family members have rejected me. Everybody has rejected me. I've come to tell you that you're in the best place because now God is about to bless you and none of them will claim it in the name of Jesus. None of them will say that the ones who did this or did this or you see, there's something about relatives. There's something about people who know you. People who know you tend to always put their hands on whatever is happening to you. They will say, oh, this boy, we are the ones who, 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 who carried him when he was a baby. This girl, we are the ones who removed pampas from him. We are the ones who washed him. He used to poo, -poo and susu -so everywhere. He used to cry everywhere. We are the ones that... So people have a tendency of always laying claims on of everything that's happened to you. But now what God is getting ready to do, God is getting ready to win some glory out of your situation in Jesus' name. You are saying, man of God, but what about coronavirus? What about coronavirus? If America doesn't have solution, if China doesn't have solution, if Africa doesn't have solution, then what's going to happen? Are people going to die? I've come to tell you that God is about to get some glory out of this situation. God is letting the world know that you are nothing without me, that in me you live, breathe, think, talk, move, and have my being. Who am I preaching to in this place? I came to declare to you the promotion coming your way. No man will beat them chest and say they're the ones who gave you. The financial good break coming your way. No man will lift up their hands and claim they're the ones who gave it to you. The lifting coming upon your life. No man will lift up themselves and say that they're the ones who get God is about to do it in his own way in the name of Jesus. So God is telling Moses, get off your sandals, your shoes that are made out of Egypt. I know Egypt made you and gave you the best of schooling. You attended the best of schools. You got some serious degrees in Egypt. You got some serious stuff in Egypt. You are known in Egypt. You became a prince in Egypt. But this level you're about to go into it is going to be me behind the wheel.
in Jesus mighty name I want to hear I want to declare to somebody who is listening to me right now the level that your country is going to now is gonna be God himself who is doing it in the name of Jesus the level that you're about to go into right now is gonna be God himself doing it in the name of Jesus I'm telling you this coronavirus God is gonna use it to glorify himself and let me declare to somebody right now you will not die you will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living I know you've been worried you've been saying man of God how will it happen how will my business go how will my life end up how will my children go? What's gonna? I've come to tell you, God has got everything in control. In Deuteronomy chapter number thirty-one, verse six, the Bible says, "Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, He it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Come on, somebody. God will never fail you, nor forsake you. He sent me to tell you today." that be of good courage my god it means do not be terrified child of god if you listen to your news it is terror being emitted hallelujah glory if you listen to the radio it is terror being emitted it is fear being emitted it is discouragement being emitted it is frustrations being emitted you are wondering what's gonna happen if our government has already declared that if we are overwhelmed with this disease there will be no enough hospitals to treat us. I've come to tell you, you don't have to worry. There is a man upstairs. His name is Jesus. He is sending help you away in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree help is coming. If you have your family members, tell them family, help is coming. If you have your children around, tell them you don't have to worry, help is coming. Whoever you are with right there, tell them we will not die. Help is on the way in the name of Jesus. I am about to pray. Press that share button. Invite your friends. Prayer is about to take place in Jesus' name. So God is speaking in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse number 6. It's saying to you be strong. I have come to tell somebody be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong young girl, be strong young man, be strong mom, uh, my daddy, be strong mommy in the name of Jesus and of good courage. Hallelujah. Glory. Fear not. The Bible says fear not. Nor be afraid of them. Nor be afraid of coronavirus. Nor be afraid of luck. Nor be afraid of whatever that the enemy has brought you away in Jesus' mighty name. For the Lord your God will never fail you nor forsake you. I've come to speak to somebody who is listening to me right now. Wherever you're listening to me from, I have come to to tell you that the Lord God of Mary will never fail you. He will never forsake you. If man has ever forsaken you, man was not God. If your spouse has ever forsaken you, he or she was not God. If your government had ever forsaken you, they are not God. If your teacher had ever forsaken you, they are not God. If your boss had ever failed you or forsaken Second, you he or she is not God. If your parents had ever failed you or forsake you, they are not God. I have come to declare to somebody that this week we are entering is very, very important. God is about to wrap you in his love. God is about to wrap your family in his presence. God is about to surround you. Come on, talk back to me. Don't be quiet on me if you can listen to me very well. Talk back to me. Talk back to me. Talk back to me. I say God will never leave you nor forsake you in the name of 
of Jesus. And the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you that this will be the, the best, the first of the best week of the rest of of your life in the name of Jesus. I'm going to say it again. I said this will be the first of the best week of the rest of your life. I wish somebody could receive it for your house, for your children, for your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Let me say it again. I said this will be the first of the best week of the rest of your life. I see you making more money this week. I see you becoming glorious this this week. I see you singing and celebrating this week. I see you becoming a blessing to people this week. You are becoming a money lender in the name that's above all other names. That's why I challenge you on this coming week. Be prompt. Be on time. Every 10 p.m. East African time. Get at least 10 of your friends and tell them we got to pray. Tell them we got to pray. Tell them to tune in in Jesus' mighty name. Because God has got something in store for you in the name of Jesus. As I finish, the Bible says, God told Moses, take off your shoes. This week we are taking off our shoes. We are taking off pride. We are taking off arrogance. We are forgiving those who have wronged us in the name of Jesus. We are letting go in the name that's above all other names. We are letting go every stress, every worry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is releasing abundance your way. God is unlocking breakthrough to your family. This is the week to forgive anybody who has ever wronged you. Some of you have been carrying people who wronged you 30 years ago. The teacher that beat you like a dog 30 years ago, beat you like a dog 30 years ago. You are still carrying that teacher in your heart. This is a time to let go because God wants to bless you that the next time you meet the the person who wronged you, you will become a blessing to them in the name of Jesus. Some of you need to forgive your government. Some of you need to forgive your boss. Some of you need to forgive your, your relatives. Some of you need to forgive your partners, your spouses. Some of you need to forgive your children because in this week we are entering into, we are entering into a week where God is coming down, the presence of God. God bless you, Chimera Samuel. God bless you, Didi Gabi. Come on, keep on sharing on your wall. Now share on your wall. You're about to pray. Welcome your friends. We're about to decree something in the realm of the spirit. I prophesy to somebody right now that your best days are not behind you. Your best days are ahead of you. I prophesy to somebody right now that you are about to become a marvel in your generation. I prophesy, my God Almighty, I prophesy to somebody right now that uh, you are about to become a kingdom financer in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you are about to help the poor. You are about to become a food basket to the nations. Um, I decree to somebody under the sound of my voice um, that you are not going under. You are coming up. You are coming up. Um, open your mouth and begin to decree and say, I am not going under. My wife, my children, my family is not going under. We are coming up in Jesus name. You see, when somebody is buried, somebody goes under. I decree to somebody today, you are not going under in the name of Jesus. Not this time, not next time. This is your season. The Lord God of Mary has got something in store for you in Jesus' mighty name. I proclaim as a man of God that there is a turnaround coming your way in Jesus' name. I decree to somebody that's listening right now that you are shamed are coming to an end. Your failure, day, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I wish I had a, a, a warrior right now who can receive right now because the word of God is for you and not for any other person in Jesus' mighty name. I say that you are becoming a success story in the mighty name of Jesus. The failure of others, you're not going to be included in the, you're not going to become a victim of coronavirus. In the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and begin to decree the word of God over your family. Begin to declare that my family is secure in the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your loved ones, over your family. Come on. Begin to draw nearer to the presence of God. Begin to surrender. Take off your sandals. Take off your shoes. Take off pride. Take off arrogance. Take off. You see, this coronavirus has come to let the world know that we need God. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, the world has been proud and arrogant, saying, oh, we are the superpower. Oh, we are the ones who have this and that. Oh, we are the ones who can do this and this. But now everybody is locked in. It's locked up. Hallelujah. Nothing is, the economy is on a standstill. People are taking a pay, pay cut. Hallelujah. Glory. I have come to declare to somebody that God Almighty will never leave you nor forsake you. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Thank him because he will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank him because he has got a plan for you. Thank him because he has got a future for you in Jesus' name. I want to pray now for your family members. I want to pray now for the sick. If you are sick in your body, I want to pray right now. If you have a prayer request, write it down. I want to pray right now. Wherever you are watching from, write down. I want to pray in the name of Jesus. Anything that you are believing God for, write it down. I want to pray in the name of Jesus. If you are sick in your body, I want to pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. But first, before I pray, I want to bring up people here who have never received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. I want somebody you are here saying, Man of God, I have never received Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And I want to do that right now in Jesus' mighty name. If you're that man, that girl, that boy that's never received Jesus, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I surrender my life to you. Have mercy on me. Forgive me of all my sins. Purge me by the blood of Jesus. Erase my name from the book of death. And write my name in the book of life from today I am born again in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I want to pray for your loved ones. I want to pray for your family. Begin to share this on your wall and let your friends that need prayer to come on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I arise above the demon of coronavirus. I arise above sickness and disease. If you are sick in your body, put your hands where the sickness is. Some of you have got problem with your chest. Put your hands on your chest. Somebody you are listening right now, you have a problem with your neck. Put your hands on that neck. Somebody you have a problem with your legs. Put your hands on the leg. Somebody you have a problem with your uterus. Put your hands there in Jesus' mighty name. Something is about to happen in the name of Jesus. I come against every foul spirit of darkness. I come against every confusion. I come against every bondage. I come against every attack of the devil. I come against every spell of witchcraft. Somebody they have been trying to bewitch you. I break the spell of your life. I come against the spirit of premature death. I come against sickness and disease. I come against your your blood disease. I come against cancer. I come against poverty. I come against lust of the flesh. I come against adultery. I come against the spirit of fornication. I come against the spirit of pornography. I come against the spirit of bondage. I come against fear. I come against worry. I come against anxiety. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. You've got no power over my viewers. I adjure you, oh my God. I adjure you by Jesus. Get your hands off their lives. Get your hands off their children. Get your hands off their hands of their families. Lose their bodies now. I command that blood disease to die at the roots. I command that tumor to die at the roots. I rebuke that sickness on your body. I rebuke that confusion. I rebuke that bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody begins 
begin to take one minute uh, and begin to cast the devil out and uh, chase the devil off your house, uh, chase the devil off your children uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, open your mouth and say in the name of Jesus, uh, devil, get uh, get your filth years off my life, uh, get your filth years off my family, get your filth years off my spouse, uh, get your filth years off my business, uh, get your filth years off my future. Come on, command the devil to get out. Uh, tell him, lose your hold of my child. Uh, that cough is a demonic spirit. Uh, open your mouth and begin to get it out. Uh, in the name that's above all other names, uh, that spirit of darkness, uh, that spirit of leukemia, get out, you tumors, uh, you lumps. Uh, lose your, your hold. Uh, somebody have a problem with your left breast. Uh, I adjure that pain to get out. Uh, in the name that's, oh my God, uh, miracles are happening right now. I command the devil, uh, pack your bags right now. Get out of my viewers uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ghost, um, every affliction. Um, if you can see my hands, put my put your hands on my hands. Uh, let's connect by faith right now. I command every spell to be broken. Um, I command every witchcraft to leave uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. You've got no power over my viewer. You've got no power over their health. Um, you've got no power over their finances. Uh, you've got no power over their bodies. Uh, you cancer die at the roots. Um, you tumor die at the roots. Uh, you coronavirus dead the roots. Uh, I send the blood of Jesus. Uh, our God is an omnipresent God. Um, our God is an omnipotent God. Um, he's an omnipresent God. Um, there is nowhere that God cannot go. We ask, we send the Spirit of God to anybody who has contacted this disease uh, that they be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Um, they be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Um, they be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Um, we speak life. We speak protection. We speak strength. In the name that's above all other names. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Loose your grip now. Get out of their bodies in Jesus' name. And never come back again in Jesus' name. We speak hope. We speak strength. We speak life. We speak stability. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I pray and I believe. In the name that is above all other names. I proclaim freedom. Child of God, you are healed. Begin to stand up. Begin to walk. Exercise yourself. Check where the tumor was. It is gone. Check where the pain was. It, oh my God. I command that sickness. Get out of their bodies in Jesus' name. You tumor. Go. Never come back again in the name of Jesus. I unlock your finances. I unlock your finances. I unlock your finances i unlock your breakthrough i unlock your good news i unlock your favor i command good news on your phone i command good news good news good news i unlock phone cause of blessing god bless you i said anytime a word of god is going on receive it by saying amen don't just be quiet receive it receive it claim it in the name of jesus hallelujah or as somebody's gonna watch later will claim it in the name of jesus i say this week is your week of productivity this is your week of favor this is your week of breakthrough in jesus name this is your week of financial overflow money is coming to you you are not reducing you are increasing you are not going under you are going up receive that grace oh my god i'm expecting your testimony this week beginning from today midnight all through to the week we are entering i'm expecting your testimony i'm expecting your testimony i'm expecting your testimony because the angels of god have already gone ahead of you to activate the release of your breakthroughs in jesus mighty name god bless you so much for watching in the name of jesus hallelujah glory when the broadcast is over Continue sharing it. Start to watch parties everywhere. Welcome your friends in Jesus' name. God bless you. Still we meet again tomorrow, same time, 10 p.m. East African time. Don't miss. Don't delay in Jesus' name. Get your friends on board and tell them to join in in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm expecting your testimony this week in Jesus' mighty name. If God has led you to give an offering, go ahead and give. Go ahead and bless God. Go ahead and glorify God. This is your week like no other in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. See you again tomorrow, 10 p.m. 
East African time. This is your friend, Pastor Stephen Onganga. Bye-bye.